Today continues. Welcome back. It's the best part of the week. We are meeting another zoo pal today. Danny Spinks with the Louisiana Purchase Gardens and Zoo is here along with Liberty. So tell us a little bit about Liberty. We can obviously see where she gets her name. <laughs> <laughs> Liberty is an eclectic parrot. They come from Indonesia and New Guinea area oh. and over near Australia. And uh, they're beautiful colors. One of my favorite things about her um, this is a female eclectus parrot. The male is actually a bright green with an orange beak. And it wasn't until the 20th century that scientists realized that mm. they were actually the same species. They actually had them classified as two different species. But they are the same. Yeah. I guess it helps, it's easier to see who's male and female, I yes, guess, that way. Yes, it makes it very easy. Uh, so they have this habit because of their lifestyle. Uh, the female eclectus parrots stay about 11 months out of the year inside the little homes and nests that they build in the hollows of trees. And so the darker colors help them to blend into the hole. Oh. Mm. And also, since parrots can see color, it allows other parrots to know that that hole is occupied, whereas the predators can't see the colors. Liberty's just excited yeah, to be here. Gorgeous. She said, hey, how's yeah. it going? Trey, this is your first zoo to you. How are you feeling? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. I, <laughs> I love it. She's gorgeous. Her colors are just pristine and very electric. <laughs> yes. She is cute. Do they eat similar things as other parrots do? These eat uh, fruits, and they uh, do play a large part for the uh, forest propagation for their uh, tropical forest that they live in. <laughs> Uh, because most of the seeds and the fruits that they uh, eat, they do not uh, digest. And so they actually oh. help to spread uh, oh. tree seeds all over the forest, which allows the forest to grow uh, large. Now, unfortunately for these guys, the pet trade is one of their biggest uh, hurts for their uh, species because of their beautiful colors and because they are mimicry birds, which means they can copy uh, speech patterns and stuff oh. like that. Uh, they are often sought after as pets, and so they will uh, be collected from the wild, unfortunately, and uh, kept in homes instead of left in the wild where they can uh, be nice and beautiful. What, uh, what type of speech does, does she normally mimic? Um, they can really pick up any kind of uh, sounds that they want, including uh, like a uh, our words, she can actually say, like, if she was to learn how to say hello, she can actually learn to say hello like I do versus oh. saying hello how you do. She oh. can pick up because it's copying the sound, not necessarily huh. the word. word. Interesting. And they're really good at uh, copying other sounds from uh, car horns to... Oh. Uh, oh. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Interesting. They're really good at uh, mimicking sounds. She hmm. is adorable. Well, thank you so much, Danny, and thank you, Liberty, for showing off. Oh, now she's going to move around. <laughs> she likes to be on the shoulder, so she's about oh, to probably okay. see if she, oh, oh. oh, thank you Lovely. very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the information for the zoo if you'd like to stop by. Thank you so much, Danny and thank Liberty. You. We've got more news and weather when we come back.